Hi everyone, so my name's Rob and I thought I'm going to do a little tutorial about setting up a open stage Siemens phone. So this is a open stage 60 Siemens SIP phone and um, just to prove that um, everything works um, I'm just going to dial my cell phone which is here and uh, you're going to see that it works. So. And my phone is normally on silent, so um, you're not actually going to see it or hear it ring. And I'm going to put this now onto speakerphone. And we can see. Hello? Hello? So now you can hear that echo. And uh, that I think will uh, give you a sign that the phone's working. So let's just kill that. Okay, so what you're really interested in is doing a reset of the phone to get yourself going on one of these things. So <clears throat> you want to press this uh, directory button here and get the phone up into one of the directory menus and go down to admin and press enter oops, you're going to enter the password which I think I entered as it's either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or <laughs> um, Well, that doesn't matter. We don't need the admin. We can just do 2, 8, and 9 to reset the phone. And then we do 2, 1, 4, 8, 1, 6. Grr. One second. Right. So, actually, of course, I forgot how to uh, do it when we're doing the um, first video. To do a factory reset, we're going to press. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, one, two. Oh, we try password. One, two, four, eight, one, six. Reset phone. And now a factory reset is in progress. So this should wipe all of the details off the phone. blue screen of death. And uh, I just had that coming up from my uh, Google search results when I um, looked for uh, the default passwords for this type of phone. So I literally Googled um, open stage 60 phone reset so the phone is now uh, going through its whole reset sequence hopefully it won't take too long it should be a few minutes what you're going to need for this is the phone plugged into a broadband network and um, another LAN cable to your uh, computer that you're going to set the phone up with and then it's of course helpful to have a phone nearby so that you can actually um, call yourself and test that everything is completely working on your phone otherwise you know it's quite difficult to actually test whether um, you set everything up and um, both uh, lines of communication so outgoing speech and incoming speech are both working Then you're also going to need a um, SIP uh, VoIP provider and that's really simple. You can go online and set one of those things up with a credit card in a few minutes. So 
So there's. So it's still doing its magic. I don't know whether you can see there's a bar here at the bottom moving from left to right. I'm not really sure what that's doing, whether it tells us anything or not. But now you've got a green screen, and now you've got the GUI come up. So it almost looks like the phone has managed to factory reset itself. And um, what we should now have is pretty soon just a very blank um, setup. And what we're going to have is hopefully the error screens, error, error warning signs coming up like this. No telephone impossible and error code LT1. So that's fine or LI1. So that basically just tells us that there's nothing nothing going on the phone. It's factory reset to uh, midnight, um, Wednesday 27, 3, 13. And no idea why they chose that date. Um, so if the phone is all going, what, will, what you'll notice is that these little lights light up and that you can select that and the phone will change. If I zoom out a bit, you can see, hopefully, it does something. It's a little bit slow when it starts up. Um, it's quite annoying, actually. But uh, once the phone has actually been on a minute or two, um, I guess the software has completely loaded. And uh, you can switch between these menu items quite quickly. But what I want to do now is go into the admin menu and see what IP address the phone has got. And then we're just going to type that into the browser and um, we should be able to go into the web-based admin. Uh, probably one of the first things we're going to need to do is also um, enable the LAN port because I think by default when you reset these, the LAN port for the computer is disabled. But we'll quickly check that once uh, we can get into the admin menu. It's still not uh, doing anything yet. So we're back with the uh, phone. It's uh, finally finished its thing. I actually probably made a mis mistake by pressing the uh, directory button. It's been searching for a directory. Um, it's now saying um, deployment pin. That's fine. Um, we can uh, just cancel that. Confirmed. So now we have more issues. No telephony. RG2, RS2, RN2. But I think that's going to be fine. So here we are, we're going to go into uh, admin. Default is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Network, I think. Primary DNS, IP4 configuration. Here we have our IP address of the telephone. Wonderful. We just need to set up the port. PC port. And we're going to set that up to enabled. And save that. <clears throat> and if I can remember correctly, 192.168. 184. So we go back up here. It has to be HTTPS colon one nine 
So set a new password. We can do three, two, one, six, four, three, two, one, six, five, four. Submit. <clears throat> so you're just on the user page, and you've got the administrator administrator page. The admin password should be 123 and on hitting login I'm into the admin and from here on in it should be fairly simple so we've got system, system identity you can put uh, something like Rob in there. If your name is Rob, right there. There you go. Rob. And when I click enter, it should go there. Should. Famous last words. There we go. Just update the uh, web browser. Go back into system, SIP interface. We generally won't need any of these things. You can probably do that to natural address translation. Then do registration. And just to demonstrate that nothing is amiss here. Going into the phone here, we've got no telephony possible, RS2, oh, sorry, RG2 and RS2. And on my on the screen here, I've got um, my credentials for my SIP provider. So I've got the username, which is going to go here. Then I'm going to put in my information here, which is sip.gradwell.com that's going to go into server address <clears throat> and I can press submit I need to do server type is other, could that change it to, to SIP? So the phone still hasn't registered and uh, still it's now displaying an RA2 and um, I think I've remembered what the issue is on the SIP interface uh, or system identity. What we need to do is put in place the your SIP user ID either into there or into um, the rest of the uh, into the one above that that's still saying error Let's try now putting that into the one above that, the entity. System identity, paste. And we can put in here Rob, I think. And we're going to see if that does anything here on the phone. So we have up there now the SIP user ID, which is from there. I'm sure we can probably fix that. Um, 
by putting in display identity. Let's do that. Click. Let's see if anything happens on the phone. On the phone, nothing actually changed. But I have a feeling now it's going to work. So let's see. I'm going to put in the telephone number of my phone. And see what happens. There were no error codes on the screen. So let's see. The uh, camera just died out there, but. Um, just there's no now error codes there now, so putting in the phone number two nine zero. Oops, two seven eight four. Giving myself a call. Let's see if that works again. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on speaker. Hello, hello. So hopefully that uh, is sufficient proof. We can put this on loudspeaker as well. Hello. And uh, we can also try dialing in because we all need to dial in at some point. So let's do that. So in the background, that was also my 3CX soft phone on the mobile, uh, on the computer working. So there we go. I think that should um, show you how to set up a phone um, for uh, the, how to set up the Siemens Open Stage. And I hope that was very helpful. So uh, thank you. Bye bye.